I'm Grace. I feel like my life so far has had two parts, before and after my dad died. My dad died suddenly when I was 10, and soon after I started losing memories of him. To try and hold on to those memories, my mum and I created a drama series. As I've grown up, we've imagined the advice and stories my dad would share with me when I've been stuck. It's brought my mum and I closer, it celebrated my dad, and it's helped me through almost everything. And women, merely players, women in his time, plays many parts. And all the men and women, merely players, they have their exits and their entrances. They have their exits and their entrances. And they have, they have their exits and their entrances. One man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. At first, in the next line, schoolboy with satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail, unwillingly to school. And then, and then the lover, sighing, Furnace with a woeful ballad. And then the lover, sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress's shining Eyebrow. morning face, creeping, creeping like a snail, creeping like snail, unwillingly to school. Creeping like snail, unwillingly to school. Hey, Madiba. Hey, Grace, how's the study going? Uh, uh, stressy. I can't believe how quickly the days are going. Uh, honestly, Grace, you've got nothing to worry about. You're gonna smash these exams. <laughs> no, you'll smash them. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. At least there's an end in sight, right? And we've got the formal to celebrate as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, I should probably get back to it. Uh, yeah, I should probably do the same too. All right, see ya. See ya. What's up? Mum can't pick me up. So? I have to catch the bus home. Well, what's so bad about that? I've never caught the bus home before. Well, then this will be an adventure. Dead, I'm scared. Don't know where I am. Okay, um, why don't we just walk back to where you wanted to be until we find something that looks familiar? Does that sound okay? My bag's heavy. I know. I'm tired. <laughs> I know. I'm hungry. I know. I was going to tell you what I used to have after school. Mum would make me a piece of Vegemite toast and a cup of tea, and I would dip the toast into the tea. Ah, oh, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> it was. We get this like oily slick on top. Yum. Oh. Let's talk about what you're going to have for dinner. How will that help? It'll help keep your mind off the rest of the walk. I was going to start dinner, but this is your favourite bit, so I just got everything out. Great. Do you want me to do anything? No, it's fine. It's a good chance for you to get away from your study. I took a break today. I know. But there's always time for more breaks. Not really. Well, there should be. Gracie, we've all been through it. 
and it doesn't matter what mark you get. Once those exams are done, no one even asks. <laughs> it just feels like they matter. You know it. <laughs> anyway, more importantly, do we want roasted or mashed is my question. Mashed. Mashed? Okay, let's do that. I heard that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. I don't know if that's insanity though. I think that's just hope hope and fear to just keep doing whatever you can, even if it's more of the same. But then maybe the things I did before the exams were a bit insane. Like taping a battery to the end of my pen so that on the day I could take it off and magically write faster. <laughs> that seems pretty insanely stupid. But definitely what I did do all the way up until the exams. can't write. For someone who can't write, somehow you've managed to write all of this. Dad, none of it says anything. I don't know, I think there's a couple of good ideas in here, I think. It, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know how to answer these questions. Ah, forget about the questions. <sighs> okay, um... What about this question? Do you like English? Yes. Cool. Why? Because you get to discover different stories and characters. Okay, excellent. Now, what about Shakespeare? I love how he describes emotions. Great, how does he do that? Um, okay, like, how does Shakespeare write? He uses really evocative analogies and metaphors, like in the Seven Ages of Man speech in As You Like It, where all the world's a stage. And one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. I was actually in a production of As You Like It. I'm not sure if you know that. Yeah. Mum told me. She even found some photos. Oh, right. Did she uh, also tell you that I played the lead, Orlando? Uh, yeah. Mm, no, no, she didn't mention that bit. Just didn't come up. No, she left that bit out, did she? Oh, how convenient. Hmm. <laughs> it's 
funny, you know, I only made it to the fifth age. The justice. In fair round belly, with good cape and lined, with eyes severe and beard of formal cut, full of wise sores and modern instances, and so he plays his part. <laughs> Last scene of all that ends this strange eventful history. Is second childishness. And me, oblivion, sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. I mean, Bill's done all the hard work for you, Gracie. All you need to do is just write down what you think. I think I've got something here that kind of says that. Oh, look, yeah, okay. Through the play, as you like it, Shakespeare doesn't tell us how we should live our lives. Instead, he shows us how our lives could play out. Hmm. <laughs> the hurdles we may face the joys we may find, the relationships we may need to navigate. By making us laugh, Shakespeare cleverly, is that cleverly? Yeah, it's okay. meant to be cleverly. <laughs> By making us laugh, Shakespeare cleverly engages us in a reflection on who we are in all our follies through all our ages. See? You're not on a wild goose chase or in a pickle. You know, you just, you just need to find a method to your madness. Shakespeare. They were all Shakespeare. He wrote all of them. <laughs> Honestly, Gracie. on the way home. Can't wait to see it finished. Rip it, come on. Oh, it's beautiful. Don't you think? Oh. There's the shirt your dad wore to Craig's wedding. Do you remember this one? Really special. Remember the names you used to have for the wives? Oven overs, yeah. washing machines, mm -hmm. milkshakes. Yeah, and slappers. Gotta look out for the slappers. <laughs> and what would we say to them? 
We're, We're not, not scared, scared of you, waves. waves. <laughs> but they're more powerful than me. Yeah, look, it's good to respect the ocean, you know. Never turn your back on the sea, all that kind of stuff. A bit of fear can be healthy, but don't let it rule your life. We're naturally curious, you and I. <laughs> Give the surf another go. I'm just a girl. Trying it all Feels like I found a place I never thought But the mirror looks like When I try to see The one who looks back She ain't quite like me Stories and memories They grow like trees But the leaves fall down on me The mirror realize sometimes 